let's take the first question the first question says i need to evaluate the limit log of 1 plus precisely you know that the standard result is log 1 plus x by x limit x approaches 0 is 1 so what I'll do is I'll try converting this limit to this form so what I'll be doing is let's say x minus a h h so as x approaches a you can see that h approaches 0 so let's modify this it's log 1 plus h by h now the new limit is limit h approaches 0 since s as x approaches a h approaches 0 so this is the new limit now as you can see this is the standard result so this value evaluates to 1 so this the lim limiting value of this function at x as x approaches a is 1 now let's say we were talking about base e till now let's say I have asked you to evaluate this limit where the base has been changed to 10 I know again the standard result is log of 1 plus h by h to the base e limit h approaches 0 is 1 so I somehow need to manipulate this to this form so what I'll do is let's convert the basis you know using properties of logarithms that I can write this as this okay now this term this term this term is the same as this term so it is 1 so the answer is 1 into log e base 10 or the answer is this this is the answer okay now let's take one last example on logarithmic limits and then let's proceed to the next section the question is limit x approaches 0 log of 5 plus x minus log of 5 minus x divided by x okay whenever you have given been given questions on logarithms try to somehow modify this to the form whose results we know here you see that if I put x equals to 0 it gets converted into 0 by 0 form so we can always apply the hospitals rule but again I'll try to manipulate this to the standard result so that we can directly apply the result this one we can write it as first of all this is here we have 5 but we need 1 you right in the standard result we have log 1 plus x by x so what I'll do is I'll take 5 common I'll write this as 1 plus x by 5 again whatever term I have here I should have the same term here so let's take x by 5 and multiply this by 5 here okay now this is of the form log a into b so this one I can expand as log 5 plus log 1 plus x by 5 minus log of 5 minus log 1 minus x by 5 right okay this and this gets cancelled now I hope you have understood till this I'll rub this so what what I had was log 1 plus x by 5 let's take this 1 by 5 common and have this x by 5 
now let's separate these two parts so i'll get log okay this you know is 1 let's take x by 5 as y so log 1 plus y by y since x is approaching 0 y also approaches 0 so this is 1 now now let's take x by 5 minus as y now since in this, for this case let's take x minus x by 5 as y so as x approaches 0 y approaches 0 for sure so it becomes of the form log 1 plus y by x by 5 will be minus y so this is what this is minus 1 so it's 1 minus minus 1 so it's I have a 1 by factor here so it's like 2 by 5 2 by 5 is the answer to this question okay so we're done with logarithmic limits now let's move on to the next part that is exponential limits let's see how to evaluate exponential limits Again, you should know the basic series expansion for e to the power x, which is equal to 1 plus x square Okay Now, the standard result is And the other standard result is okay. These are the two standard results. To prove the first standard result, again, what you need to do is you put the expansion of x to the power x here and cancel the x terms and then put the limit. You'll get this. Similarly, for this one, put the expansion for a to the power x, which we had discussed when we were starting the chapter limits and then you'll see that you'll get this result as this so without wasting much time now let's move on to the problem section of exponential limits the first problem is to evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 a to the power x minus b to the power x by x If you put 0, it gets of the form 0 by 0. So obviously, L hospital truth is valid. That is one method. The second method is to use the standard result. Standard result says, I know that a to the power x minus 1 by x limit x approaches 0 is log base e. This. Okay. So, minus 1 term is missing here. So, let's subtract 1 and add 1. Okay. Now this I can write it as zero. Now this is what this is log of a as you can see from here base e and this is what log of b so using properties of logarithm this i can write it as log a by b base e okay now let's take another example 